While being signed to a big talent agency is both an accomplishment and an opening of the doors to a career that can potentially be a really good one, there are other options for Sayu when it comes to management. Smaller or independent talent agencies can provide a more balanced management experience and, at times, are the solution to the low pay that Sayu get when signed to big talent agencies. Let's kick off this episode of Sayu Lounge. Welcome to Sayu Lounge. I am your host, Vanessa, and today's topic is a quick history of independent Sayu talent agencies. This is a direct follow-up to the previous episodes. In the previous episode, you and I covered a bit of the history of some of the biggest talent agencies in Japan. This time around, let's talk about smaller independent talent agencies led by Seiyu themselves and see how they have fared since their launch. Seiyu talent agencies established by Seiyu themselves. Male Seiyu like Kenichi Suzumura, Toshiki Morikawa, Tetsuya Kakihara, Sho Hayami, Shinosuke Tachibana and Jun Fukuyama have established their own talent agencies. The reasons behind the decision of launching their own talent agency vary and not many Seiyu actually state what really drove them towards establishing a talent agency. Why did all these top Sayu decide to leave the big talent agencies they were signed to or that represented them and establish their own? Well, a bigger cut of the profits of, of their work is a big reason. Then there is the freedom to accept whichever job they want as well as the want to teach others their voice acting skills and give them tips about how the industry works. Sayu that love to teach others and guide them will be more inclined to launch a Sayu talent agency that doesn't only represent them. They will want to nurture talents and see them flourish. They want Sayu to be fairly paid for their work. But of course, they are managing their own business and want to make money in the process. What this Sayu tend to do is to have an increased load of work for themselves and find a way to have rookies from their agency tag along to learn from them and get a good reputation due to that. While it sounds counterproductive for the veteran Sayu in question, it is the best way to teach the young talents in their agencies how things are really done, while at the same time give them good, solid credits in awesome anime and 2D music productions. Most independent agencies like these ones have enlisted friends or acquaintances in the industry to join their own talent agencies. Usually, these types of talent agencies do not ask for insanely high percentages from a Seiyu's earnings like most established big talent agencies do. Seiyu are taught beyond their classes about how the industry works instead of being thrown to the wolves or desperately trying to look for a senior at their agency to take them under their wings. This ends up creating a safe, sound and respectful environment for junior Seiyu and veterans alike. Now let's talk about some of these independent Seiyu talent agencies. Do know that this is not an exhaustive list and there are many more I am not covering but are equally interesting. Rush Style Rush Style is a talent agency established in 2013 by veteran Sayu and narrator Sho Hayami. The talent agency early on brought talents from agencies such as Office Osawa, Awani Production, Production Baobab, among others. The talent agency is not focused on a specific side of the voice acting industry. Having talents that excel in narration, variety show hosting, radio MCing, and dubbing for anime series and games. With the launch of Hypnosis Mic in 2017, with Sho Hayami and Yukihiro Nozuyama being cast in it, the agency also started having talents in the music industry. 
Some of Rush Style's talents include Sho Hayami, Imai Fumia, and up until November 2022, Yukihiro Nozuyama. Axel One Axel One is a Japanese talent agency founded by Toshiki Morikawa and based in Shibuya, Tokyo. This agency appeared as an answer to Baobab's bankruptcy that happened in the early 2000s. At that time, Morikawa left the agency and launched E-Zone, bringing a couple of talents along the way such as Jun Fukuyama, Hino Satoshi, Shinosuke Tachibana and Noriaki Sugiyama. The talent agency had a strong run in the early 10s, with most of its talents being heavily requested for anime, games and narration. This talent agency provides a safe space and new management, which is to say a more sensible one, with one of the biggest names in the seiyuu industry leading it and an opportunity to earn more money. While in its early stages Axel One only seemed to take in seiyuu talents leaving other agencies, things changed in the tens, with Axel One's seiyuu school, Accelerator Zero, managing to nurture good talents that are currently gaining traction in the industry. In the last couple of years, the tendency has inverted itself. Fukuyama, Tachibana and Sugiyama, and actually many more, have left the talent agency either to establish their own talent agencies or join other independent talent agencies. Some of its current talents include Toshiki Morikawa, Hino Satoshi, Takuma Terashima, Shota Hayama and Takaya Kuroda. Stay luck! Stay Luck is a Japanese talent agency founded by Daisuke Namikawa in 2012 and is based in Shibuya, Tokyo. This agency has a bit under 20 talents signed. Most of them are active in dubbing for anime series and games. Although that is the main focus for most of their talents, there is also a place for narration and the agency also houses music composers. The talent agency has set its own voice acting training school, Follow Up. Noriaki Sugiyama serves as a teacher at this school. Some of its notable talents include Daisuke Namikawa, Kaito Ishikawa, Chiharu Sawashiro, Noriaki Sugiyama and Yukihiro Nozuyama. Zinkro After his departure from 81 Produce, in 2013, Tetsuya Kakihara established his own talent agency, Zinkro. The talented seiyuu and solo artist started small and has been scaling in quite the interesting way in the last couple of years, slowly building rapport for the agency while slowly adding new talents to the agency's roster. The agency focuses primarily in voice acting in anime, games and 2D music projects. When it comes to 2D music projects, Zincro's seiyuu talents are quite gifted, shining in some of the most popular projects out there, which is to say, Ensemble Stars and Idolish 7. The biggest signing was, undoubtedly, Ken, a close friend of Kakihara's. Kakihara and Ken are the biggest or the highest profile seiyuu talents currently at Zincro. Intention Intention is a talent agency established by Seiyu and singer-songwriter Kenichi Suzumura. Despite having been established in 2009, only in 2012 did the talent agency start to be active. If you've been following Kenichi Suzumura's solo career with some attention, here is a cool tidbit of information. Intention is also the title of Suzumura's debut single. This makes the agency extra special for Suzumura. Contrary to many of the talent agencies mentioned in this episode, Intention is all about diversifying the skills of their voice actors. This can be done through stand-up plays, reading plays, voiceover for games and anime series, narration, radio hosting and more. From time to time, the agency holds workshop auditions for future talents to showcase their skills and, who knows, being offered an opportunity to join the company. Alongside Axel One, Intention is one of the best-known independent seiyuu talent agencies in Japan. Some of the biggest talents include Yuichi Nakamura, Takahiro Sakurai and, of course, 
Kenichi Suzumura. Black Sheep Black Sheep was established in 2018 by Seiyu, Shinosuke Tachibana and Jun Fukuyama, long-time close friends since their time at Axel One, as well as the project Daba Days. This was one of those announcements that made a lot of people go, what? As soon as Tachibana and Fukuyama left Axel One, they announced the establishment of their own talent agency. And as you went through their website and their ideals or their credo, you noticed that this talent agency is a reaction to how the Seiyu industry really treats Seiyu, regardless if it is a big, small or independent talent agency. Black Sheep's main focus is to take care of their people and help them in their future. If you've paid attention to the previous episodes, in which I mentioned that there are talent agencies that like to impose restrictions to say you, and that, and this goes back to the episodes of the podcast from last year, the say you industry is a place for mind games and mistreatment, you'll get this focus that Black Sheep has as a company. It also shows, although indirectly, that their time at Axel One wasn't as good as people thought. This is a talent agency that aims at having quite the big scale. Given how many juniors have joined their ranks and how they established a training school, in which Tachibana and Fukuyama are teachers, called Black Sheep Lab. At Black Sheep, say you are free to pursue what they love in the fields they love. There are no restrictions when it comes to mature work, there are no restrictions to their looks or how they act. So you are simply doing what they love, quite possibly and hopefully taking into account the company's credo, earning the money they deserve for a work so underappreciated and usually underpaid, such as voice acting. Notable talents currently at this talent agency include Shinosuke Tachibana and Jun Fukuyama. And with these, you and I wrap up this episode, actually the series of episodes about talent agencies. Like I said a couple of episodes ago, this is a quick history about Seiyu talent agencies. There are many out there, and for sure I haven't talked about even some of the highest profile ones, but I wanted you to get the basics of what they do, how can they help a Seiyu, how restrictive or toxic they can be, the type of talents they house, and many more interesting tidbits. As you may have noticed across these three episodes, uh, Shibuya is where all talent agencies are. If by any chance you want to start working in voice acting, that's where you should start applying for auditions or even enrolling in classes. Do remember that there is a reason why Seiyu tend to go freelance. They enjoy freedom, want to organize their schedule as they see fit, perhaps even want some time for themselves or their family. They want first and foremost, of course, to be in charge of setting the price for their work, something they can't do when signed to a talent agency. What unfortunately happens is that Seiyu that go freelance tend to disappear from the public eye because they don't have many influential contacts in the industry. That is tricky, but more often than not, that's what happens. But on the other hand, say you sign to talent agencies have to run and fight for jobs, the talent agencies do not guarantee them work. So you may have talent agencies or talents in big agencies that are also disappearing from the public eye. So yeah, pros and cons on both sides, but let's not forget that each Seiyu is unique and has their own influence, talent and popularity. And those are factors that heavily influence how a talent agency works with or for them or how they can thrive as freelancers while others can't. If your favorite Seiyu is going freelance, do not worry. They are looking for the best for themselves they may be trying to find what they actually love doing. They may be wanting to distance themselves from an image that was set for them. They want out of a talent agency, 
maybe because it was toxic or that it actually didn't appreciate them. They may thrive as freelancers, but will have to work twice as much as talent signed to talent agencies in order to impress. Or they may want to return to being signed to a talent agency, hopefully one that treats them well. Now tell me, big agencies versus independent agencies, which do you think is best for Seiyu's careers and why? Let me know in the comments on YouTube and remember, leave your comments as complex or as simple as they may be and you can be featured on upcoming episodes of Seiyu Lounge. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the Hand That Feeds HQ's weekly mail Seiyu and music related content. I'll return next week with another episode of Seiyu Lounge. Thank you for listening and see you guys around.